Hello and welcome back to My Dank Dog. In this episode, we're going to be setting up our next Solo Cup challenge, which is a Bruce Banner Auto Flower. Let's get into it. Say hello to my new beans. Bruce Banner Auto Flower, which is a sativa dominant hybrid. It takes about nine to 10 weeks to flower, and they've been soaking in this distilled water for about a day and a half, maybe 24 to 48 hours. Both of the seeds have started to sprout. I would normally wait for the taproot to get to about half an inch long before potting in the soil, but I'm just gonna do it as is. There's nothing special about this grow. We're just gonna grow another two plants in solo cups. The cups are not monster sized, they're 18 ounce cups. They're purple, that's the main difference. And the setup is gonna be slightly different. I really liked on my first grow, how that root structure looked at the end, even though it was kind of root bound and locked out, I thought it was pretty neat to look at. So I'm gonna do this grow in a transparent cup. I've added drainage to this one, but it's really the idea of being able to take that transparent cup out of these cups and look to see how the roots are growing and then being able to put the transparent cup back into these regular cups to shield them from the light. The drainage holes were added pretty easily with a regular lighter at the bottom. On my first grow, I think I only put four holes in the bottom of the cup. And I think that didn't help with the root kind of lockout and that root bound structure that we ended up with. So I'll make sure I've put double here. This has got eight holes at the bottom, pretty straightforward. The other thing that I'm making a change is I want to kind of avoid the liquid nutrients. So I'm going to use worm castings on top of the Fox Farm soil that I normally use. And then I can kind of do a nutrient boost throughout the grow. The Fox Farm Ocean Forest soil, this has been great on all of my grows. It's got about enough nutrients in there for about four to six weeks and then with the worm castings on top I'm hoping that's going to be an extra boost and I have to use less and less of the liquid nutrients because I'm still a bit dodgy as to whether those are giving me any nutrient burn. So we're just going to fill these cups up here with the ocean forest from Fox Farm and as you can see already this is going to be so cool to be able to see the root structure in these transparent cups. I'm going to try and fill these cups right up to the brim. On the last grow, what was also really weird is that the soil had seemed to disappear. The roots had seemed to absorb all of the soil. Look at this though, it's going to be cool. You're going to be able to see all of the roots growing on there. I'm just going to top this up now with the worm castings. And throughout the whole grow, I'm going to put some extra worm castings on there as well. I believe worm castings are basically worm poo. I guess when they eat their way through the soil, they excrete all of that soil out the back and that's what worm castings are. So it's meant to be good for the plants anyway. Pots look cool. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be so cool to watch the roots kind of like spiral round or shoot down and shoot up in these cups as well. So I'm really excited to do that. It's going to be super easy just to plonk them in there. The roots are shielded from the light. We're using a purple cup for purple Hulk pants and a green cup for green Hulk skin. So yeah, that's the main difference, guys. It's going to be pretty cool. The other thing that I had a problem with on the first grow was just keeping my plant fed because the cup was so small I was having to water it you know two three four times a day and it didn't seem to be able to hold on to any of the water or nutrients that I was feeding it so I looked into a system here that can water the plants automatically so it's a automatic drip irrigation 
kind of kit. Never used one of these before. This one can apparently feed like 10 to 12 plants. You have to cut up this tubing and add the stakes, which go right to the bottom of the pot to feed the roots. Uh, it's a uh, it's a bit of an experiment, but all the reviews online say it works. You just set the amount and frequency of water. So if you want it to feed twice a day and for a minute, you just pre-program it here. It takes batteries, but you can also plug it in via USB into the mains. And it cost about 40 bucks. I think there was a discount on it on Amazon. So it looked pretty straightforward to me. Bit of a no-brainer. People use it when they go on vacation. They set the uh, plant system up with a big bottle of distilled water as a uh, you know a plant uh, reservoir. I did read into how you can add the nutrients in there, where the nutrients go stale, and they do. The pH can change, so I'm going to have to work that one out as I go along. As you can see in here. These are the uh, stakes that go in and, and feed the water right to the bottom of the pot there. So they go straight to the roots. So this is going to help me out, guys, a lot. If I can just keep that root system fed with water and nutrients, that's going to be great. And then I think also what I'll do is do a top feed occasionally just so that those um, worm castings are actually bleeding down to the roots as well. But yeah, interested to see how this goes. I also found this as well. It looked cool and I thought it would be good for a, you know, a photo opportunity. It looks like an IV that you would get in a hospital if you were, you know, dehydrated or they needed to put something into your veins, but it's for a plant. Um, I think it's more of a novelty gift when it arrived, but it looks pretty cool. I'm still going to give it a try. Um, it's pretty basic. It's got a stake here that goes into the uh, pot and then it holds this adjustable feeder so you fill the bag with liquid you add the um the drip feeder here and change its um amount and then hang this on the metal stake like so i think it's more of a novelty gift now i've got it i'm not gonna send it back i'm gonna keep it and you know test it on something i don't know i'm looking at it right now i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna, definitely gonna use the electronic one and give this one a try or I'm just going to give it to somebody as a gift for Christmas because it's kind of cool. It was 15 bucks. I think you can get a pack of three for 30 bucks if you look hard enough though. All right, the nutrients. Now, this is the science. The pH Perfect Grow Micro Bloom says that it's pH perfect, but you still have to test your soil. You still have to test all of those things as well as listening to the plant. So I've also got some CalMag here. I've got some Bud Candy here. And I've also got some Flawless Finish. So we're going to see how this works. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use these nutrients. I'm always scared of things getting burnt. We'll see how we work this out. Pretty sure I'm going to have to use the CalMag regardless. We'll see how it goes. The tent I've got is a 2x2 two two Mars Hydro tent with a Mars Hydro 4 inch inline fan. I've got a Viper Spectre P1000 LED full spectrum light. And these ladies are good to go. I'm just going to pop a little hole for about an inch, maybe half an inch hole in the top of this soil here and place our beans in and we should be good to go. As you can see, it's just got a very, very small sprout on here, but I'm confident once I cover these ladies up, they're going to grow. So I'm just going to pop them in these little holes here. They're new homes. It's crazy to think what these little beans grow into. And it's all kind of pre-programmed into these like little tiny seeds. It's kind of a, it's kind of weird, but you can see how easy it is to take these cups out of here. The transparent cups are going to be easy for us to see that root structure growing. I'm really looking forward to doing 
that and documenting that. And then also the extra cups here. Maybe we can put a little extra bit of soil in these bottom cups. I don't know if that's cheating, but I'm probably going to do it if needed anyway. I always put another thermometer in the tent just to check to see if the outside thermostat and the inside thermostat are, you know, in kind of like, um, you know, tandem with each other. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use the bud clips yet. Uh, probably I'm going to do some LST, but I'm not sure. I'm going to play that by ear to see how they grow. Um, but yeah, well, you know, the green wire or the bud clips or a combination of the two is pretty standard. We'll see how they grow. And I'll play that by ear as well. Or, you know, I may just let them grow freely and just trim some of their leaves. No real plan when it comes to the LST. And then the other thing that I'm definitely going to use is this pH meter just to make sure that the soil and the medium that's going into the soil is not going to kind of affect the plants grow. It should be between six and seven. So I'm going to take a uh, closer inspection to that as well as having a pH meter measuring all the nutrients that are going to go in there too. So here's my setup pretty straightforward. I think all I need to do now is cover these ladies up and give them a, a bit of water and make sure that they've got enough to drink. Cover them up and hopefully they're going to grow into a couple of monsters. I'm just going to give them a squirt of some distilled water here. The comments I got on my previous grow were pretty encouraging. So I was going to give it a miss for a while but I decided to just jump straight back onto it and get it going so I'm excited to see how this goes and this one's a little bit more fun as well especially if we've got kind of like this grow off of the uh, two plants next to each other and then just one more thing here this is going to be Hulk with his purple pants and this is going to be the green skinned she-hulk and they can hang out and grow together and we're going to document them so it's a little bit of extra fun there from these uh pretty cool lego characters but just a kid really aren't i this is just kind of like uh like kids toys and kids grows um but yeah bit of fun all right guys i thank you very much for watching if you got to this stage or this part of the video i thank you even more Really do appreciate it. If you get the time and you enjoy this content, please give me a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. And I'll see you soon. Take it easy.